building on Vincent's comment, mm. I he picked a, a, a line from the president. Mm. I'll also pick one from the president, mm. and that is no child left behind. Um, that that to me is key and important, and and I think that this is this is transformational. <coughs> this is this is great. Uh, of course, um, the universities uh, feel a bit relieved. Mm. Uh, this is one thing that uh, I've been uh, preaching about for several years, that you know, funding needs to be student-based, student-centered. Mm. That you actually fund the students. You don't fund the university, you don't fund the block, you don't fund an idea. Mm -hmm. You are actually, our money is going to actually fund an individual. And that individual has a pathway that they've chosen that they want to actually be able to pursue, mm -hmm. whether in private or in public, uh, pu public universities. But then this gives us an opportunity, especially in higher education, for even private universities to create scholarships and, and, and fight for, if I was a student, and I'm hoping that I can give and get younger and, and go back to school. Mm -hmm. If I was a student, I, I want to see Strathmore fighting for my space in their school. Mm -hmm. And Nairobi University saying that, hey, Mark Matunga, we, we have a chance for you here. We're offering you this much scholarship uh, from government. And Satma will say, no, 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 you come. Uh, we're offering you full scholarship. It, that mm -hmm. is the equal opportunity that he's talking about. Mm -hmm. So that as a student, I have the money and I choose where I want to go and which course that I want to pursue because I qualify for it.